Hi, my name is David Rosen. In this project, we're going to display the fundamental of physics called the Doppler effect. Now, the Doppler effect doesn't particularly follow a law per se, but it does follow basic laws of physics when it pertains to sound. Sounds are nothing but waves in the air which our hearing instruments uh, translate into what we actually hear. It's a vibration of molecules in the air. In the Doppler effect, when an object creating or emitting a sound approaches a person or an object that is able to perceive the sound gets closer, the level of the sound increases. This is due to the fact that the sound waves being produced by this object are becoming more frequent. Also, as the object passes and begins to go away from the, the person, the sound waves become less frequent and thus they become quieter. Uh, so in this project, I decided to see if this fundamental of physics is followed in video games and in order to do this we're going to try it out with a popular video game Call of Duty Black Ops for the Xbox 360 so we're going to take a look at this video right now and see whether or not the developers at Treyarch follow this fundamental of physics So as you can tell after watching the video, uh, the mechanics in this video game don't support the Doppler effect. Uh, we noticed we tried it twice. On the first run, the sound of the gunfire does not increase in volume the closer that the shooter gets. And even as the shooter passes, the volume does not decrease. We tried it a second time, and on the second run we had the same effect. And even after the runner passes, the stationary soldier, the stationary soldier turned to face the direction in which the runner ran and the volume actually got louder again once we turned to face the shooter. So unfortunately Treyarch, you kind of missed the ball on this one. Your game does not support the Doppler effect. Again, my name is David Rosen and I thank you for watching my podcast.